Today I'd like to talk about how to upgrade power on any RC car starting from toy RC cars to more professional ones. The idea is to change a regular principle that is used in cars where you have a battery which provides power to a receiver that provides power to a electrical motor. The receiver changes just polarity and thanks to that the car can move forward and uh, backwards or can turn the front wheels to the right or to the left. In order to pass by the receiver and provide more power to the motor you need to think of a system that would allow to do that and one of the ways to do that is to use the relays. If you add extra battery you can then provide power from two batteries to your electrical motor via relays. Let's see how it looks like on a more detailed scheme. So here we have an extra battery and it should provide power to electrical motor but we need to be able to change polarity. So if you can look at this scheme the red wires would be positive current and uh, green wires will be negative current. That would mean that power will flow from these wires and should go back via the green ones and make the motor electrical motor turn. To do that we need to use a set of relays and activate them so that the power can go through the relays to the electrical motor. Let's see how we can do that uh, using a receiver. There are other ways to upgrade power using separate batteries. For example, here we can see that we can add a big, big bigger battery with more power and use just that for the electrical motor and a smaller battery for the receiver. And another way to do that would be also to use only one big battery and supply power to receiver using resistance to make sure you don't burn the receiver. You need to adjust the resistance in a way that the receiver gets the power uh, that it can receive. Um, but it's a more difficult one, you have to do some calculations. We'll go with a simpler one, this one. Or another one, the simple one, is to use a separate battery for the electrical motor but I'll show you how to do that uh, we're using this scheme where two batteries two equal batteries are connected in series doubling the power for the electrical motor you still supply power regularly to a receiver but then you connect the batteries in series and provide double power to electrical motor while the relays here are deactivated I'm showing you here how the electrical current would flow. It would flow to relays, to two, to two sets of relays in different ways so that when you activate one set of relays it would provide one polarity and then you would activate another set of relays you would get another polarity for electrical motor so that you can move in different directions. Let's see how it can happen. So here you see it what happens when we activate one set of relays. So this relay is activated, this one is activated. And you see the solid line would mean that the current flow providing plus positive current here and negative current here. Don't look at these arrows in this direction, it's just to show the direction of the wires. But the current would flow from red to green. Uh, so this is one set to make the electrical motor rotate in one direction and then when you activate the second set of the relays you would block the connections here and let the current flow now in a different manner and provide a reverse polarity so you'll get this time minus here and plus here so in this case you get this polarity and in this case you get another polarity. 
So how do we do that? How do we use the receiver to activate these sets of relays? So let's look at that. You see now that the one battery would provide power to the receiver and receiver actually here you get the power to receiver and receiver changes the polarity in a regular uh, mechanism that would uh, allow the receiver send the power to the electrical mo motor with different polarities and control the direction of the mo electrical motor but now as we want to make it uh, change the polarity in the relays uh, we will have to use the receiver to switch the relays and how will that happen that will happen using diodes this is the sign of the diodes and they will help us to block the current uh, from at certain sets of relays uh, let's say now we have a uh, positive current going this way and negative current passing this way uh, if we put diodes in different directions for this set of relays and for this set of relays we can assure that when the receiver provides one polarity only one set of relays will work for example here you see that this wire is connected to both sets of relays but as we have a diode here allowing the current flow in this direction the current would flow via these two relays and close the, them allowing current passing through the relays while here the diodes will not allow any current flow because this way is blocking the diode the diode is blocking the current passing this way and this way so this set of relays will not work so by activating this circuit you will activate these two relays and then these relays will activate the circuit coming from the batteries to electrical motor so we get here minus and here plus and let's check the second scenario this one now the receiver is changing polarity you see it's now it was plus now it's minus and now this circuit is out because the diodes are not allowing the current to flow through this set of relays and the current will flow only from these two relays activating uh, the connections that would allow uh, the relays to let the current pass to the electrical motor changing the polarity just look at the polarity here you have this polarity and now you have this polarity so this is the simple way to add more power to an RC cars and you can do it with uh, very powerful RC cars with less RC powerful RC cars and why you should do it um, bypassing the receiver because you may not mind to blow up your electrical motor while experimenting with your RC cars but you don't want to blow up the receiver because that would mean a lot of headache you'll have to find another receiver you may not be able to match it to your uh, remote control and all kinds of problems may uh, occur it's easy to change an electrical motor in your car and so there shouldn't be any fear of burning it you can try it you can experiment it experiment with it having this applying this idea and have fun with that I will also solder this uh, scheme in real life and show you how it works I'll try to make a uh, relay sets connectable to the car and uh, actually removable mobile so that I could apply these relays to different cars with different powers <laughs>